Okay, everybody. It's some random date in mid-July. It's either a Tuesday, a Wednesday, or a Thursday. I'm not keeping track anymore. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're in Exchange Square, to my left. Uh, got recently voted one of the nicest buildings in Britain, the Corn Exchange. Uh, it uh, was a general produce exchange. Hello, happy tourists. Look at that. Hello, thank you. Look at that. Many cultures around the world, they'll see a guy filming, and they smile and wave. Hello, mate. Okay. And uh, up ahead, just another, just another massive police incident. There's uh, um, armored officers, there's standard officers, there's uh, male officers, there's female officers. It's all going on. And as always, I don't go and scope the scene out and then uh, figure out some good angles. No, I do it live. I arrive on the scene. At the same time, my viewers arrive on the scene. I have the souls of 50,000 Veechlings stuck deep in the full frame sensor. But, uh... oh, I recognize some of these gentlemen. Hello, Dan, how are you doing? All good. Yeah, hey, Mohammed. you okay. All right. Okay, now we uh, we await the debrief. As uh, as the Batman of Manchester, I'm just going to wait. The cops are going to give me my 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 debrief. As uh, I just forgot my pointed here. It's a uh, cape hat thing. Sights and sounds of Thomas Street in the hipster northern quarter. Thanks for your service, man. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You Take much. care. When the seagulls follow the fishing boat, it is because they believe that fish will be thrown into the sea. Of course, it's none other than Eric Cantona. And uh, in my opinion, the, the fan deserved it. It deserved the game. Oh man! Don't stop cutting! What? Sorry? What am I doing? None of your business with that attitude, is it? Who are you shouting at? Who do you think started it? None of your business! I'm getting pictures of you now. Okay. Yeah, I've done it. Tell you what, go away, leave me alone, and then we'll pretend this never happened, okay? Did you get down on hard property? Now go tell someone else what to do. Yeah. Coming to me, shouting at me across the road, what you're doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. You go do what you're doing. Can you get down on hard property, please? Go and get out. Call the SAS, call the army, call the police, call, call, the, call, call special. Why would I call anyone? Uh, because you've got a bad attitude and you can't handle I'm me on your own? Shouting at a female in the road. You oh, do, does your gender matter to yes, this conversation? Feels, oh, does it now? I feel threatened by you. You feel threatened yes. by me? Yes. All right, well, uh, you're free to walk away. Because you're on our property. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. All right, we'll dispute it. Just leave me alone now. You're not property then? No. Why not? Because I say no. That's why. None of your business. What, are you my mum? Are you a boss? You can go ask someone else, I'm not interested. Brilliant, this would be great content for my YouTube channel. Brilliant. Thank you. That's how sad you are. I'm very sad. I'm so depressed. I'm a very sad, miserable, sensitive guy. So, uh... All right. You're not threatened by me. Why would you contradict yourself? Why would you contradict yourself? You just said you found me threatened, threatening, and now you're saying you're not threatened by me. 
I'm just getting a few snaps. I don't appreciate getting shouted at. Yeah. Your construction site. Then there. The only thing is, because of how you're the safety laws, you can't be stood on that. I'll, because you're in our boundary. I'll handle, accident. if the police come, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Appreciate it. As a grown-up man, I'll take care of myself. It's nothing to do with the police. It's about our insurances for the site. Yeah, but you can't, you can't control members of the public. We don't mind you taking pictures. It's yeah. Your own free will to take pictures. Yeah. You can't be stood on that. That's the only thing. I don't think this uh, council thing is to do with you guys. I don't. I don't think it's to do with you guys. Nah, mate. I'm stood in public. I am stood in public. I'm sorry, bro. Your property. All right. Well, show me your show me your ownership bloody documents, and I'll. Anyway, why don't you all leave me alone? Thank you. It's just for your own safety, all right, I'll ignore you all now. Thank you. None of your business, bro. Sorry. No, it's not. All right. Listen, either you're going to physically stop me, you're going to call the cops, or you're going to leave me alone. Good. I'm happy he records. Name's Charlie Veach. I've got nothing to hide. Unlike you guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, you do it. Ha-ha! Asshole. Oh, it's the traffic wardens. Is she covering her face? Action. Action, go on, move, that's it. Go on, go on, cover your face better, come on. Oh my God, I can see your face, oh my God. Oh my God, I can see your blue hair, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, a great line that I used in the recent video was, that which is punishable by a fine is basically legal for a price. So when you have a, a Big J, when, when your name's Big J and you're definitely not a narcotics dealer, I promise he's not Big J, why spend your time finding somewhere to park properly when we all know that for the richies, for the elite, a 60 pound parking fine is their standard parking ticket. Go on, Big J. Go on, mate. Why should I assume it's a man? It could be Big, Big Jane. Big Jane is parked here. Big Jane does not have time to park like a pleb. Yeah, yeah, Big J. He's not going to park with the, pe with the peasants. He, he's, got, he's got a parking ticket, but 60 quid, no problem. Has he? Oh, it's pr pretty good value for money. <laughs> when it's maybe too awkward to abandon your own Rolls Royce in the city centre, why not park on double yellow lines and use a disabled badge to park all day legally for free? You don't even need to have a 60 pounder uh, rich man certificate. Let's see the license plate. Oh, look at that. Couldn't even invest the money to get a funny personalized one. Guys, it's all staged, it's all fake. These buildings, they're not real. It's literally polystyrene. You see the little balls? You know when you get a new telly, a new monitor, a new PlayStation? Look at that. It's all staged, it's Disneyland, fake buildings. Thanks. Oh, the media, the buggers. All the satellite fans are here. All the big boys, they all from the big outfits, the BBCs, the GB News, the ITVs, the ITNs, the Channel 4s, the Sky News. Have I missed anyone? I don't think so. But they're all here. They're all waiting for the jury to say either Lucy, everyone loves Lucy. Sorry, on your way, madam, sorry. Everyone either loves Lucy and she's innocent or she is guilty. Guilty as charged, so we don't know yet. She is existing in a quantum superposition. She is Schrodinger's suspect, Schrodinger's defendant at the moment while the jury deliberates. She is both innocent and guilty at the same time. 
this gentleman gets the reference. Schrodinger's defendant. Schrodinger's defendant. She exists in a quantum superposition right now. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. You sound too intelligent for me. Oh, God. All the best. Take care. Thank you. So uh, here we are at the Crown Court. People who get caught go to court. But if you don't get caught, you don't go to court. Of course, as you can see, the, the lighting's a bit shit here. So this man's brought na nan light. Get your granny lit up with nan light. Okay, this is a uh, roving reporter, Charlie Beach. We're getting news from the studio. What's that? It's all, it's all, it's all ogre. Wait. Okay, back to you, back to you, Hugh Edwards. Back to Hugh Edwards at the BBC Media Center. What's that, David? Oh, uh, you've got a sore knee. Sore knee? Oh, it's okay, you're disabled. Just have a badge, park wherever you like. My question is, what are they paying these barristers? My lord, so there's your Bentley Azure or whatever the hell it is, Bentley Continental uh, Coupe in a very fetching red. And uh, we have a white one here. What, what, all we need is a blue one uh, to celebrate the release of uh, the, the trailer for Ridley Scott's Napoleon with the Joker. Joaquin Phoenix as Napoleon. It's gonna look good. What's that parking permit? Yeah, okay. Okay, there's a guy with a street sweeper machine. He's breaking in. He's doing a car ramming into the court. Look, he's going in. He's going in. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Oh, oh he's blocking the entrance. He's, he's in. He's in. He's going back for another lap. It wasn't clean enough. Charlie. Hello. How are you doing, Charlie? Oh, good, man. How are you? Sorry, I was just getting some random of things. I didn't realize such a cool guy with good taste in YouTube would be here. Thanks, man. Oh, forbidden photons. Forbidden pho are, they, are they working? They are. Not allowed. Oh, that's a big gap you've got there, mate. Hiya. <laughs> well, when you positively have to take the golf clubs, the two Labradors, Penelope and the three children, to the uh, weekend villa in Tuscany, but you've got to get there 160 miles an hour. That's how you do it. Imagine asking people for change when you've got a giant dog with you. Actually, the dog's normal size. He's just a very small man. Let's see. We've got... Good old Piccadilly Gardens. Never a dull moment. Well, never a dull moment in Piccadilly Gardens. Um, I asked uh, the paramedic, very nice guy. Hey. Charlie Fleck! Good man. <laughs> Charlie Fletch, <laughs> hamster juggler. So anyway, um... Oh, it's the brave boys! Big brave boys! Big brave boys! Brave boys! Yeah, he's a prick! Oh, big boys! Big boys! He's a pricky! Right. Well, it didn't uh, it was just general crackheadery, uh, angry lady crackhead with her crackhead associates. But uh, coming back here, always curious when there's paramedics and the police. Is he in legal trouble or hospital trouble? You never know. In the never-ending chronicles of you are not a tram, we now have private, private vehicles. Oh, oh. Ma'am, you're not a tram. Not allowed. <laughs> Man struggles with umbrella in windy weather to giant blue tit. So I'm in Stevenson Square. I think I'm going to check out the new ice cream place called Sweet. 
My friend, what's it? Is it sweet? Is it good? Yeah, it's amazing. We've got a good selection of ice cream and everything. Ice cream, milkshakes, all of that stuff. And could I ask you to do a favour? I know it's a lot. Could you say you're watching the Charlie Veach channel? I'm watching the Charlie Veach channel. Thanks, man. Enjoy. Appreciate it. All the best. See ya. Ah, Jason Schwartz, the graphic of... This is a cover about the Wes Anderson film Asteroid City. I'll reiterate it. Still the worst film I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. But uh, the one I liked most of all. Wait, 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 wait. We like this cat. That cat looks weird. Look at that. But the one I liked most of all was the graphics here. I like the color. I like the drawing. I like the monster. And I like comedy. Who doesn't like comedy? Can't think of someone. Some surely someone hates comedy. I guess the butt of the joke hates. I know who hates comedy. Murray from the Joker. Festival Essentials. Kinell lad. So potential for excitement here for a not allowed certificate, but as we all know, when you're rich, it's quicker and easier than paying for parking. You just park somewhere you're not allowed to, wait for the yellow ticket, and uh, on you go, bro. But uh, as far as supercars go, the Aston Martins are bloody gorgeous. Darling. Hello. Someone's stolen your engine. <laughs> no, it runs on water. It runs on water. Look at look at that guys. Eco-friendly or what? Thank you. Alrighty. Down Great Ancoat Street. Now I want to show you quickly. If I remember, we're gonna go inside the crown and kettle. I just want to show you the ceiling. The ceiling from 1734! Here we go, I need it bright. I need it bright. Anyway, look at that. Have you seen anything as great as that? Look at that. It's like some sort of fever dream of a haunted circus from 1734. And look at the arches. All right, so um, here's the other side of the crown and kettle. Look at those cool kitties. Didn't the Simpsons have one of those in their kitchen? One of the eyeballs going back and forth. But uh, it's the ceiling in here that takes my breath away. No, 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 no. Isn't that great? It's awesome. You all right, mate? Oh, oh, shit. All right, white face. When you absolutely have to get your family at high speed in an S3. Oh, it's quite a nice looking car, actually. Oh, it's snooker twat. Anyone else getting a 1930s Art Deco vibe from the One Express building? I am. What a lovely lobby. Look at that font. That pure Art Deco. Chrysler building, Empire State building, 1930s. Hoo-ha! Alright, who's undercover? Oh, it's the Scodes! Go on, Scodes! You'll get them! I just like the shot with the building and the Royal Mail big lorry in the front. It's just a nice shot. Who's going to move first? These people. Let's get it. Just the just the right F stop. That'll that'll do. That'll do. J'aime beaucoup ton chien. Oh yeah, dog. Lovely doggy. Oh. Is it a special breed of uh, sausage dog? Hello. Um, I don't think so. It's um, is this a dapple? A dapple. Yeah. Very handsome dap. Very dapper. Thank it's you very much. Mate. Lovely doggy. Thank, Thank you. you. There was a time, maybe 30 years ago, maybe 25 years, in fact, maybe even 20 years ago, when a, an abandoned Irish vehicle from, how do I pronounce that, guys? From, I'm not even going to try. When an abandoned Irish vehicle here, uh, who's uh, 
getting his uh, not allowed certificates would just be left. It would uh, cause quite a stir. But nowadays, nowadays we don't mind again, you know. It's, it's the Irish like us now, don't, don't they? They like us. Yep, you've clocked it, haven't you? You've, you know it, guys, you know it. There's a big hole. Big hole down there. Can you guys see the hole? You getting the hole of the hole? Or are you getting half the hole? You getting the full story of the hole? There you go. <laughs> Hello, boxer. Don't jump out. Stay with daddy. You're a good dog though, I can tell. Can I say hello, can I? May I? Hello, look at that, what a dogger. What a doggy. What's his or her name? Zoe. Zoe. Oh, Zoe, you're delightful. Look at that. Thank you very much. All the best, man. Take care. Here's a, a bar. You can see people drinking. Made out to be like a New York bodega. Bottega? Bogugu? Bo Bo it's certainly not a convenience store. Um, and I've been in there before and I can assure you the beer and wine and hard liquor is not discount. Come on ladies, come on ladies. One pound taco. Come on ladies. One, <laughs> one pound taco. Coolest guy in the Northern Quarter. What a legend. Look at that. <laughs> Linen trousers, linen shirt, smart brown leather shoes. The guy is winning. He is winning. I hope he watches this. I hope his friends send him this video and say I love his aesthetic. I gotta join in. I mean, <laughs> smile, cheese. Nice. She wants in the bank. I wonder if they're going to let her in. She says no. The lady inside said no. I'm going to try not to get busted filming yet because I don't want to affect the results of the lady at the bank. We will uh, try and uh, do it covertly. Covertly, I tell you. But uh, she doesn't look like a, a bank robber. She's, uh, she's clocked me, guys. No, she's... Uh, let's see. There she goes. Well, no, no banking for her. What about these boys? Are they going to get let in? Let's see. Does the Nationwide quite correctly discriminate against crackheads? Or is it just closed? Maybe I think it's just closed, guys. Or is it? It's... Uh, fucking hell. I see customers in there. I don't understand. They've given up. They've had enough as well. Nationwide's turning everyone away. <laughs> you people are crazy! Yeah. It's old guy. Oh well, some uh, feedback from the customers. <laughs> okay, my darling viewers, Veechlings and assorted crazies just like me. Just want to say thank you very much for watching this installment from Manchester. And uh, remember, don't let anyone shame you, humiliate you, make you feel small uh, for what you're doing or what you think, because nobody has a clue. All the main uh, questions of the universe are not answerable by science. They are in the realm of philosophy. And none of the big questions have been answered after thousands of years of Socrates, Aristotle and Plato and all the boys that enjoy thinking about thinking. No one has figured it out, so don't feel bad, don't feel small, you are amazing, you are literally the most complicated thing in the entire universe, especially your brain. So, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.